right, y'all, we are out here testing the all-new Rad X4 with a 16-2 pinion gear on 4S. So the purpose of this video um, is going to be to run this buggy with the 16-2 pinion gear, kind of the entire duration of this video, <laughs> um, to see if it's going to overheat. Now, I did run it for a few seconds before I started filming, um, but I do want to run it to see. And... Check the temperatures. I have my temp gun in my back pocket. Not too bad out here. It did rain, but it did kind of increase the weather out here. So I'm just gonna go all out this whole video. I'm gonna try to get the whole thing on. So maybe a long video. Plastic bag on it. Get out. Get out. Because I'm so curious on the temperatures of this setup with a 16 in it. Okay, we'll pause and we won't count that little flip over there. All right, we are back. Or maybe we'll just do a five minute run or six minutes at the most. Um, and the reason why I say that, because if you go to race it on a track, it's not gonna be any more than four or five minutes. Uh, and of course you'll be running higher C rating light bulbs and all that in it, but I'm just curious on the temperatures, or the temperature of the motor especially, and if I need to put that cat pack on here, which it doesn't seem like it really needs it too much. But we'll see. I'll be the guinea pig. <laughs> the experimental RC guy. Worst case scenario. ESC. May fry or something. I don't know. I doubt it. But I mean, it seems to be doing pretty decent as it is now. So. Oh, okay. We won't even pause it this time. My driving's off a little bit today. Yeah, this is the sweet spot. So I think Team Corrali should do a running like update or something on this. And include at least a 15 with it, or maybe a 14. That 13 is cool for the 6S version. But I think for this one, it really needs this this in here i mean on a track you may want to you'll probably get away with a 13 on the track unless they got a long straightaway because i've been walked down before in the straightaway <laughs> my boy Kiefer did that to me a while back thought i was bad because i got him in a couple of them corners we got to that little straightaway man he walked me straight down it didn't help that i had a short course truck that um when i took jumps it just parachuted in the air but anyway, <laughs> back in the day when we used to race and have fun, thinking about that, so. A little mild jump there. Get up this curve without scratching my chassis up too much. I know we can get up there. We just got up there. There we go. Can't go wrong. I'd say you can't go wrong with either one of these. You really can't. Um, 6S version, you're gonna get a little bit more. I think the 4S version, if you wanna start off racing, you can race with the 6S too. I mean. Either or, you really can't go wrong. So it just depends on what color you're gonna like and if you're gonna go to 6S or not. And kind of go from there. We've been running for almost about five minutes. We'll give it another minute. We'll check these temperatures. And it's about 63 degrees right now. We got some pretty good weather here in Georgia today. So 
So consider that as well. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna beat a dead horse probably every time I run this. If Team Corrali lowers the price of this to $399, I think they'll have a winner here, I really do. But the only upgrade needing, you need to change your pinion gear. 15, 16 will be fine. Some people may be able to get away with a 17, putting a heat sink on the motor or something. I think they'll have a pretty good winner here. Cause it's gonna be hard to find a eight scale buggy um, with the weight of like an eight scale buggy at that price point. Because most people, they're gonna say 429, I might as well spend the extra 50 bucks and get the 6S version. But some people don't wanna spend that. All right, we about six minutes in here. We'll give it another minute or so. Look at that smooth. See, it was smooth until I did all that, y'all. <laughs> Uh, all right, we're gonna run it for another 30 seconds or so. The temperature should be pretty much peaked out where it's gonna actually kind of stay at, but we'll run it for another minute or two. My light bulb may be dumping actually anyway. No, not yet. You guys stay tuned for a comparisons video coming up soon as well, where I just basically compare the two buggies side by side. You guys can see them, the 6S to the, the 4S. All right, let's bring this over here. Let's check these temps. Well, gotta go down one more time. I'm crack y'all. Yeah, we're about seven minutes. Seven minutes into this, so. All right, let's drum roll. Let's check the temperatures. Oh, let's make sure my temp gun's working. It is. Oh, let's see what we got here for temperature wise. Drum rolls, please. All right. For the motor, you guys see this here? Fluctuating just a little bit. Probably a yeah, 120s. Come on. Get a little closer. Numbers are kind of all over the place. There we go. Getting a little bit steady. So you guys see the motor temperatures there. Um, so definitely if you put a heat sink on it, it's going to run a little cooler. And like I said, today is a pretty chill day. I'm trying to get some temperatures on the ESC. And there we go for the ESC. So that's not bad. Um, it's still hot to the touch. Uh, you can do almost a three second rule on there. So that's not too bad at all for running this. Look at all these little bugs and stuff in here. Got the little laser lights on them that's not too bad at all so I'm gonna continue to run this a little bit more but I'm actually gonna stop the video but that's not bad at all guys um, considering that I geared up to a 16 so probably a 15 you'll be able to get away with running off-road on forest with this particular setup a 16 maybe portion it just a little bit but a 15 will be fine but I'm gonna push it and I'm gonna run it with this 16 in here um, and then I'm gonna actually go up to about an 18 or 19. I'm just gonna see what kind of top speed we can get out of this with the current setup running on road when I start to gear up to about a 20 or a 21 to pinion gear, but we'll see. But anyway, guys, put your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.